So, you fancy touring Europe? The Alps? The south of France, perhaps? But you've never been further than a Sunday blast for your mates. So crossing the channel into Europe, and they ride on the right and speak foreign, you know, is all a little bit worrying. Well, if that's the case, this information's going to be right up your street. And the biggest piece of advice I can give is stop worrying about it. Just do it. Get on the phone, get on the interweb, just book that ferry ticket or that channel tunnel ticket and dig out your passport. It's not as scary as you might think it'll be, seriously. As long as your bike is well maintained and you have a desire to go, then just go. One of the most important things you can do is communicate between your fellow riders. Some people are just not up for riding six to eight hours a day. And, well, others just want to see lots of scenery. While you do have the ones that just want to get to the end of the day and drink lots of beer. If you do this part correct, then there are no surprises and everyone will stay happy. Well, in theory, anyway. So, what bike do I need? A Honda Goldwing or a Step Through C70? Whatever you've got. The only thing is, it's got to be comfortable. You are going to be riding almost all day and every day, for however long your trip is. So your bike has to be A. Reliable and B. Comfortable. If you want to go down to the local BMW dealer and buy a shiny new round the world style 1200 GS, then do so. If you own an old, well loved Kawa GT550, take that instead. But, whatever you do, pick up bike, ride, or MCM, or any mag, and every few months there's a story of some old codger who rode to Istanbul and back on a scooter or a Triumph or something like that. I like something a little bigger than that, but you really can take whatever you have. I have toured on an array of motorcycles and have found niggles with all of them. So just remember, nothing is perfect. Prep in the bike. Two weeks before you go. Never do it the night before. Reliability is everything. Service it. Fix anything that's been needing some attention that you haven't got round to. You have 4,000 miles left on your tyres, should you fit new ones. Well, the way I look at it, even if you have good tread left, consider that you'll be doing two and a half to 4,000 miles. Fully loaded, two up, one up, luggage on, luggage off, at speed, on hot tarmac. On any high performance bike, that'll do a rear tyre. And halfway back from Saint-Tropez is no time to find the canvas poking through. Seriously consider fitting a Scott Oiler or something similar. They really do make a difference, and it's one of the first things I buy on any new bike now. Well, apart from my shaft drive, that is. Then take the bike for a shakedown, to bed in the tyres, ease in the chain, and uh, check you've tightened that sump plug properly. And you do all this two weeks before you go, so you have time to order up parts. You know for sure the bike is good to go, and not to find out the night before that you need a new clutch cable. Modify your headlight dip beam. In the UK, dip beam has a bit that shines high on the left to illuminate the virgin roadside signs. This will dazzle oncoming drivers when you ride on the right. A couple of nights before you go, shine your dip beam on the garage wall or something. Experiment with a sharp knife and some good quality insulating tape to cover the segment of the glass where the upper left bit comes out. You could try your local dealer or the manufacturer for a custom cut shape design for your bike, but it may be hard to get and it will not work any better than a tidy job you do with insulating tape. I must say though, I have never had a real problem with a motorcycle light. GB sticker. If your number plate is the new type, with the blue bit with GB written on it, that'll do. You can buy these as stickers to stick on your plate if there is room, or go for the classic GB sticker. Stick it on the mudguard or a pannier or something. What spares you need will depend partly on your bike, but more importantly on your ability and inclination to use them. Certainly take a basic tool roll, spare fuses, insulating tape, and as I've found out, more importantly a handful of zip ties. But don't get all paranoid and take the whole workshop just in case. They understand bikes in Europe, you know, and there are dealers and mechanics who'll be there on hand to fix it if you need them to. Take a spare of each of your bulbs for your bike and a small first aid kit. Some countries have a legal requirement for you to carry this. And also be sensible. Take a yellow reflective jacket or waistcoat for if you break down by the roadside. Well, that's about it now for preparing your motorcycle for an adventure tour. I hope that was informative for you. And don't forget to pop by the website, 
The address you'll find at the bottom of the screen now. Thanks for looking.